My name is Billy Barnes. I'm the Executive Director of Workforce and Economic Development for the County of Bucks. I was uh, born and raised in a very small town in western New York and um, kindergarten through 12th grade, I was the only person of color, black student, in the school district. So I knew that I wanted, when I, when I went to school, I knew I wanted to go somewhere that was diverse. I wanted a diverse city. I wanted a diverse college. And so I ended up in Philadelphia. You know, when I arrived here in Philadelphia, it was the first time that I ever really saw struggle firsthand. And I think it was that exposure to such struggle that made me think, how can I help? And just to give you an idea of what we do and what workforce development looks like and what that world is, um, every county has a workforce board and we are responsible for all of the uh, funding from the Department of Labor that is to be used to serve uh, employers in Bucks County and job seekers in Bucks County. Uh, a few months ago, it's probably been three or four months, we received a grant through the state and it's uh, called the Aim and Attain Grant. This is an opportunity for folks if you um, dropped out of school, right, and because you didn't have the money or whatever your circumstances were, this is an opportunity for you to return to school. You can go to the community college and we will foot the bill. And so it, it makes me think of a story of a, um, a single mother and she uh, had to leave the community college for issues, not only personal issues, but financial issues as well, right? Um, she heard about the AIM and ATTAIN grant through uh, the Career Link. She was here uh, collecting her unemployment, setting some things up for that. And so we recruited her right out of the resource lab. And when I tell you it has changed her life, it put her back on the track to complete her degree. She's due to graduate next year in uh, 2025. And she already has employment lined up once she can present that um, credential and that certificate of completion. So when I tell you like we firsthand see how people's lives can change as a result of the work you do, it's amazing. When people think about Martin Luther King, they think about you know his principles and tenets, right? And the number one thing you think about is like nonviolence, right? That was the one thing that he promoted, and you know that was of the utmost of importance to him, right? equality through nonviolence but there are other principles and tenets associated with him as well right and you know one of the biggest things that I think as a leader that I try to adhere to that he taught is everybody can be great through serving right and and that's something that anybody can do right everyone can serve anyone can serve their community right so i think that's one thing that i hold dear right and i'm just lucky enough that through my job that i'm serving right i'm serving every day no work is insignificant all labor that uplifts humanity has dignity and importance when you are in the trenches and you're doing the day-to-day -day work, right, and you know you're you're thinking about like what's next and are we accomplishing things, um, you don't know whether or not you're doing a good job, right? Because you're not really getting any feedback from anyone, right? So recognition like this is just amazing because it lets me know that one, we're accomplishing some things, two. Folks are seeing the positive work that we're doing in the community and we're making changes. And you know, like a little tap on the back every now and then is just, you know, it gives you a boost, right? So when folks recognize the fabulous things that are going on in the community and that things are really changing in the world of workforce development, I mean, it's uplifting. I, I have to thank you all in so many ways, you know, just not just personally, but also for the center and, and just recognition of the work that we do.